Have you learned anything yet, by the way? Hopefully you have. Use a sharp knife, and I'm just gonna probably cut where the where the crack is first and just kind of expose the tape first and then decide if I'm gonna if I gotta go out any further, you know. So at least give me a starting point. There. I just start right like that. Now see, that's the that's the tape. See there? Look at that. That's the loose tape edge. score it deep enough, you can get to it and then kind of flake it off at an angle or whatever. I've got, a, I've got a putty knife, sharp edged putty knife. Let's see if, let's see if that'll do something here. See now that, that that just came off, that was the sheetrock mud on the bottom of the tape. That wasn't the actual tape. Here's the tape still. Because when that started lifting, it started loosening up this mud that was on the outside surface of the tape too. See, if this had never been wet, I shouldn't be able to do this. I shouldn't be able to get that off like that, that easy. And that's because this tape is loose. Look at that. Can work on that a little bit. That's why I say I might want to, I might want to take off all the, the tape along this edge. But we'll we'll see. Just gonna score this some more. At least get some of this off. So I gotta score deeper now because the first time I scored, I was just scoring the sheetrock mud. You know. The tape was actually deeper than that. Because once they put the tape on, you you know they gotta put two coats of mud over that, right? So that's why the tape wasn't coming off from that first score. This is still some more tape. I don't necessarily have to get this off unless it's loose, and it and it is loose, or else I wouldn't be able to scrape this. So I guess I'll just do that a little bit here. Stop right there for right now. Just keep checking this out to decide how much further I need to go. See, I could, I could even just rip this off. Let's see what happens if I don't even score now that I've got it. Maybe I'll score this end. This is a test. We'll just see. I might be able to just Rip that right off. See? Just like that, it came off. Because it was loose. Because the water penetrated all the way down there. And I might want to just keep on going a little further with that. And see if it keeps coming off. I don't necessarily want to go the, all the way, but I mean, if it's this loose, this tape is coming right off. Usually they put the they'll put mud on the sheetrock first, then they put the tape. Now that tape should stick on there and, and it should be so tight you couldn't peel it off like this. But it's just peeling off because it got wet. Look at that. Jeez. I better not zip it off too far. It might go all the way across the ceiling. Man. Have you noticed anything yet? I don't have my safety goggles on. I forgot to bring those with me. I might have to run back and get them. But I wanted to do a little bit more here. even 
thinking about taking that back even further. I think I'm going to. Maybe about there. I don't want to I don't want to take this all the way off. But that's about where the water started, you know. I'm going to take it back a little bit and it's feeling like the tape is tighter now. Let's see, I can still get it. I don't want to take it any further than that. Once I put the webbing tape back on there, um, that'll help hold this edge too. Okay? I check that and it feels pretty tight. I go along this edge. Here's where the tape edge is. Get that out of there. That's right where the tape was. So now I can check this outside edge mud. Just see if it's feeling tight. And that's feeling pretty good. I just want to take off a little bit. Anything that's loose. I don't have to go much further than that. I might want to cut it back at an angle like that. So the new mud is going to tie in there. You know? That's feeling tight. That gives me a chance to see if I've got to take that back any further. This, this mud feels tight, so I can just kind of shave off the edge. And I'll, and I'll go further now. You know, down my entire patch like this. I just don't want to leave that high edge. I could have left the high edge and then just taped and then put the mud right up to that, but but uh, I want to taper it in. I think. Okay. Now I'll just keep on going over to the left. A little bit as I go and work my way down. Now theory has it, if this tape was loose enough, I should be able to just zip it right across here. And if not, then I can cut it and just cut out, you know, with a sheetrock knife, just the loose bits and, and work it with, with a putty knife and that. But I'm just going to be kind of careful here and see if I can mosey it on down. I'm just pulling on it, trying not to rip it off. See right there, it's kind of easier than there, so it was not stuck as hard there. I could probably zip this all the way across the, the room, but I don't necessarily want to do that. Okay, I got it stored up here. Looks like I missed the mark just slightly. Cut that over a little bit. Just trying to cut the end of the tape off right there. Make myself a new end. That. Okay. I'm going to check this edge now and see what I have to do with it. Hopefully I don't have to come much further than that. Keep her going. Start scraping away just like I showed you before. Right around the edges.